back and relax and enjoy another episode of Jane C. Fix and Play. play, play, play. Alright, thanks for stopping by everyone. So today's video is all about the Nintendo GameCube and probably one of my favorite add-ons Nintendo's ever made, the Game Boy Player. So essentially this was the successor to the Super Game Boy that came out on the original Super Nintendo. And as we all know, that allows you to play your Game Boy games on your TV. Well, this one allows you to play all your Game Boy games and your Game Boy Advance games on your TV. And a couple things here, you know, it just screwed into the bottom. You got a cartridge slot here for your games. You just pop them in there just like that. And generally speaking, this came with a disc that you would have to put into the system. And as you can see here, I do not have the disc. Um, my Game Boy player came with the console, um, but the guy knew it didn't have the disc, and the guy said he, he didn't know where it was. But a lot of people have that issue. And if you're new to using this device and you want to use it, if you have checked, the discs are really expensive. You're looking at about 100 bucks at a minimal from what I've seen. <laughs> I've seen them go for 150 but if you want to play it, here's a way to do it. Grab your games, make sure you have your Game Boy Player, and I'm going to use mine to, uh, I'm going to play mine using the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, and it's just a regular copy of the game, and you just need to take it out, pop it in the system, but you're going to need one more thing. You're actually going to need a memory card, which I have here, and I purchased this on eBay. I paid like $15. I've seen them for like 20 with free shipping, and to me, this is just the easiest way to do it. And all you have to do is just pop it in your system, and as long as uh, you have Zelda, and there is a few other games that it does work with, and you just turn it on. And what it is is it's a save file hack that tells the system to boot up to the Game Boy Player. So let's plug the controller in and let's see how this works. So before we proceed to the actual uh, showcase of how it works, I just wanted to show you guys what, what you guys can expect to see on the memory card if you decide to go this route. Um, so I popped the disc out just to show you guys. And we're going to go down to the memory card here and we're going to select so just just so you can see what files are on it and as you can see this is the memory card i purchased online and you'll see a bunch of games on here and a good chunk of these games allow you to use the game boy player without having the original disc all you got to have is a copy of this game and a memory card with a hack and as you see it works like bmx 007 um and obviously wind waker so some of the, some of these games are cheap obviously wind waker is not so cheap it's kind of expensive uh, just given the current market value of GameCube games. But let's get ready and pop this disc back in. Let's get that going. There we go. So what's going to happen is when you pop the disc in, it's going to boot up the game just like it normally would. And you'll even see it goes to, through the whole title screen and everything. So let's give that a second here to go. And here we go. And there we are at the Wind Waker title screen. Now, mind you, Kirby is already in the system, so you do have to put that in beforehand. But let's press start, and it's gonna boom. Before it even lets you select the files, it already recognizes the hack, and it goes straight into the boot up mode of the game. And here we are. So now we're playing Kirby, Nightmare in Dreamland for the Game Boy Advance on a Nintendo GameCube. And uh, obviously I'm playing it on my TV, which is kind of awesome because I absolutely love the Game Boy Advance games. Uh, and I like I prefer this method of playing Game Boy Advance games over emulators, uh, even over my Game Boy Advance or on like a Wii Virtual Console, which is also an emulator. But I just find that it's super responsive. I do think that it looks better um, obviously I know that depending on your TV that might not be the case depending on the settings on it but you can also adjust the screen but for you know 15 to 20 bucks 
um, if you're getting into GameCube or if you're getting into Game Boy Advance games and you want to either play them on your TV for whatever the case may be, whether it's maybe you want to be a streamer or maybe you know you want to make game review videos or whatever the case may be, I think this is the ideal way to do it. So I've been playing this for a couple months now and no issues. I haven't seen any, uh, you know, it hasn't like crashed a game or anything like that. So I would feel 100% confident in recommending one of these discs. Um, I'll put a link to one down in the description on eBay. Uh, I don't know if it's the same exact one I purchased, but just so you guys get an idea of what to look for. But I hope this helps you guys make a decision if you, you know, want to go this route to use the Game Boy Player. Um, I highly recommend it, but I hope you guys like the video. Please leave a comment or ask any questions if you have any about this down below, and I'll try to answer all of them. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you guys want to see more videos, and everyone go have some fun and play some games.